Monday morning and we're in the yard. No, it's not. It's Tuesday. Well, first thing we're going to do is go to the workshop manager. She'll tell us what work we need to do for today. Now, the workshop manager plays a key role in this business. It keeps it going. She answers the phone calls and organises the lads with what work to do from a day-to-day -day basis. So she's a key part of this company. Hello, workshop manager. What jobs we got on today? Is that my list of what jobs to do? Yeah, shall I take that? What do you want? Oh, the Luton van, what, in the yard? What, what have we got to do to it? How much work we got on this week? Two. Two bits of work, is that it? Yeah. All right. Shall I get a risk assessment before I start work? Yeah. Right, I need to get a risk assessment now. Before I start work outside on any vehicles, we need a risk assessment. <laughs> That's somebody who comes in and assesses all the risks, writes them all down on a bit of paper, and then he tells you what the risks are, what you've got to look out for when you're on the job. So first thing, let's go and meet our health and safety risk assessment guy. Don't know why I move my hands. This way. Follow me. Bye, workshop manager. I'll get on that job straight away. Okay. Okay. Bye. See you in a bit. Bye. Right, let's go meet the health and safety man. He's the man that takes responsibility for anything if it goes wrong and the, and the employees have abided by all the health and safety rules. Because nowadays, common sense is not a thing. You can't have it. You've got to have this man to tick these boxes before we can start the day's work. Here he is. Hello. What did you come for today? I need to start a job on that Luton. Yep. Uh, I've got to change a rear spring. Yep. So I need you to assess all the health and safety requirements, all the, what do you call it? On all the dangerous bits for me. Yes, because I'm right. unable to do it myself. So I need you to do it, write it in that book, and then if anything goes wrong, you're to blame and not the company. So you take responsibility and not me. Yes. Okay? Right, I'll put it on now. How are you liking your job, health and safety man? It's amazing. I come to work every day like brand new. It's <laughs> bloody brilliant. Good. I'm glad you like your work. Which gun is it? This struggle bus here. I do believe... It's got a broken spring on the rear here. I don't think you'll be going on the road with this any soon. Yep. We're just going to go through all the, the safety procedures and then we'll get back to you. The health and safety man has done his assessment. He needs to go to his office now and write down all the dangers of what could occur when we are fixing this vehicle. So we'll uh, we'll get an update when he's done his paperwork. Right, see you later. I'm going to the office now. Thanks. You got no ramps. You got no pit. You got no cones. You got no hard standing ground. You got no hard hat. You got no high vis. You got no. Glasses, you got no gloves, you got no steel cut pole caps, it's a big problem. You got no grinding certificate. You got no hot water pops, it's just beyond a joke. There's no point in going out there and doing that job if you got no health and safety gear. It's just beyond me. It's Wednesday morning and we're in the yard. Now all the health and safety boxes have been ticked. We can start the work on this Ibeco struggle bus, changing the spring. <laughs> First question is, will this even start? Because this hasn't been started in months. Oh, I hope the handbrake. No, the handbrake hasn't been left on, which is good. Damn it, flat battery. Competitive game of football in the yard, you see. Like this. Oh, should I make a cup of tea? Nanny, make a cup of tea? Yeah. Oh, look at that. I've eco art. Right, we need to pull this into a place and we'll get the forklift under it, lift it up with the forklift. 
Then we can change the spring, you think? Nottingham Forest, FC! Oh, the great Nottingham Forest! FC! And it's all forest all over this land! And it's all. <laughs> Oh, there's slow people. That's what you get when you're in the yard, you see. My girl. Working in the yard. So oh. she's got a bottle of tea there. Yeah. RJ. Yay. Tea oh, yeah. lot. No, Bob, get down. Right, this is another job we've got to do in the yard. This old EV. I've had uh, Lisa and Dan last year. <laughs> Right, let's crack an injector off. Come on, Lulu. Right, so we've either now got a dead ECU or diesel pump. One or the other. Or it's a new diesel pump on it. Has it been coded in? Right, this is the ECU. So the lads are thinking that if it's had a big voltage surge, so much might be fried in this. Shit, wrong with that. No, no, no burnouts. No. If you did say one of these little ones here be popped, you know, if it's like too much power, it pops. Mm. Oh. These lot are saying, Lewis was saying that if this is a different ECU to this and it might not have been coded, or it might be losing the signal wire from there to it to to the to the pump. They put power down it, so it could have fried anything. Really. Yeah, if they put, yeah, it could have fried overs and all. The good lads they are. Just said to her, how much do you? Nah, no, no, mate, you're alright. Favour for a favour. Oh my god, Al. A bulldog. British oh my bulldog. god, look at this. Does and she, she not? Gets, uh, she stretches, she goes back how old is she, Al? Five months. Oh, yeah. look at her. Oh my god. Hey. This is Roxy, little dog. About the second time I've ever <laughs> 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 She doesn't know what lead dog is, I think. I think she thinks, what is that lead dog? What's wrong with lead dog? <laughs> what, she don't move? <laughs> That's what you want to look at a lot. Oh, oh daddy's help a lot. That's <laughs> cushy, that is. That's a good ivy, isn't it? Where's that from? <laughs> Alfie, yeah. will the camper van start? No. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Why not, Alfie? I don't like it. It's meant to be started by now. But it doesn't. Damn it. What's happening here? Are you driving? Yeah, she's driving that corner. Driving though. the Corsa. Good girl. And the conclusion we come to is the fuel pump needs virginalising the summit because it's not programmed into the ECU. This is what we're thinking anyway. So we're hoping if we get someone to virginalise the, the fuel pump, and then it will reset itself and then start up. That's what we're open anyway, because then we can have a proper camp out in here, like a camper van, and it arch. This is the idea. We've got big plans for this. I'm going to put four seats here, because obviously there's seven of us lot, so it needs to be a seven seater. So you can buy like a set of four seats to go there. Obviously there's the three there, that's the seven. And then in the back here, sleeping quarters for just like two of us or three of us. A little bit of a kitchen, a little bit of a sink, so you can independently go out with this. But if all of us are going out, all seven, we tow the caravan behind us. So then we look like cool as anything going to site, don't we? And not only are we in this, we're in uh, the caravan towing behind us as well. Right, the noise there is the blasters blasting. Right, and the idea with this looting, that's in the yard. This Luton van, uh, we thought of some ideas. Us lot on the channel, obviously, in the comments and that, when I first got this, a lot of them said, mobile workshop. I tell you what, it'd be a lovely mobile workshop, this one, wouldn't it? You could put a bench in it, you could put vices in it, you could put your bottles in it. But the trouble is, it's only a three and a half tonner. So you can imagine me with this car, I'm gonna overload it 12. So the other thing what I thought to do with it is, it's fat lit up like all the panels and that. Clean it up so and spray it all silver like my van, like the struggle boss. Spray it all silver, have the same livery as the struggle boss. Inside, rack it all out inside so I can put my uh, 
what do you call it, merch in it. So when we go to Truck Fest, all these places, we can sell merch out the back of it. And then if I'm not, if, if, if anything happens to my bus, I can just transfer my tools over straight into this one. Got a spare bus on it. All livered up, jobs are good in. But as I said at the start, we've got to change this spring and then we can start fettling all this up. You know what I mean? Well, it's a bit of filler here and there, doesn't it? Bit of, bit of panel beating, you know? Bit of plastic welding there, Dave. DJ Project. Oh, there's the spring we need. Thunder there, Angel. Right, what do we need for this? 24? 24? 24? Right, we've just come out again. We've been in for like two hours. You know, doing dinner and all that lot, and then, oh dear, you know. And like, obviously now, nah, come out again, like it's raining, crushed it. Right, I'm gonna get the big guns out on this. We need Welder Fabers, impact gun, what are you giving me? You know it's tight when the M7 comes out. <laughs> Even the workshop manager's come out now, lad, see what the hold up is on this van. Hello, lads and lasses. Probably it must be four o'clock. Why? You started working. <laughs> <laughs> We've had to do lots of health and safety assessments, buddy. Hello. Oh, I thought I'd leave it till it started raining, like, you know what I mean? Till it's all wet and that, didn't we, my girl? Yeah, that's the spring. You bring that to me over here. Oh, dear, even that ain't budging up. Oh, yeah. That old chestnut. Like Come on, it's meant to be an easy job, this is. That's why they haven't done it, you know. <laughs> They've done the same thing and put all fucking chuck the spring in the back. Yeah, we'll leave that there. <laughs> we'll buy a new, we'll new van. Uh, I just buy a new it. van because I've tried that. I've been there an hour and the bolt won't come out. Just say it's broke, that is. I need to get a forklift and lift this up and all, Josh. You need fosters. Then just sit here and look at it. Yeah, and then do a bit more. And get pissed and it feels like you've done it. I'm fucking pissed. I like that idea. Because it's not your problem anymore, is it? <laughs> now, if you drink enough of them fosters, your problems go away, don't they? What are you going to do, though, once you've done this? Just park it back over there? Yeah. The park it back. Like... <laughs> you get that rotten. Yeah, go on, buddy. Grab the forklift. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Well, got some tension on that tide, hasn't it? <laughs> Last thing. Yeah, lower it down a bit. We don't need that eye. Oh, yeah. Hello. Perfect. That's health and safety wise. It's lovely. He'd be happy with that. Are you happy with that, health and safety man? Oh, Josh. I wouldn't go into that. Though. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come That's a nice clean snap. Well, that's all for safety wise as well. <laughs> Right, it's Thursday now. 
<laughs> and we're back in the yard. <laughs> no, Four days. I've had a real good time. He has. He's built a tire up and changed two bolts. Changed the spring. Changed the spring. Real bad job. That's how we do it. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. yeah. Fucking good, lad. Perfect. All right, yeah. Your daughter. Got it. You got it. I can't see piss all with this light. Oh, why not? Because it's shadowing myself. Huh? Right, do you want to go and spike up then now? Right, you got that light there. Right, the next problem is what he's got. You know his indicator? His indicator is just flickering on, like flick, flick, flickering. Like that, when he puts it on. He has to put it on, it flickers, and it do not come on again. Uh, and I think it's down to. I mean, I am guessing here because I haven't checked it. But from previous problems, what I've had, it's down to that box there, that junction box there. Right, uh, that hose pipe is turning into a struggle to get that going. Ali's struggling with it now, so I'm just going to bottom the, the cleaning off and then just put it on now. Archie, right, are you going to be my light, man? Uh, no, not really, because. What? Yeah. Come on, get down here then, lad, so I can see. Oh. Come on, just down here, look. Right, Archie, right, so what I'm going to do is unplug these one by one and plug them into this one so we know which one goes where without getting them muddled you know what i mean because uh, if you take them all out then you're not going to know where to put back in are you oh tutti margaret <laughs> <laughs> tutti margaret <laughs> oh oh god i'm gonna get soaked here i don't want to get this new one wet now okay. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh tutti margaret oh uh. I'll oh, maybe I'll be in the shower. We can have a came out here. <laughs> 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 oh, Archie. What? What we should never came out here. <laughs> oh, Archie. You know there's always four to be out. Uh. <laughs> you know it's always fun here, Archie. You're not going to get your treadmill then. Well, spanner. I don't do spanners, mate. Oh, I do don't, impact don't ones. Much. I don't do spanners, mate. I'm going to sign up for this. It's nice to be out here, Arch. Is it? Yeah, the great outdoors, helping your own man. Isn't it fun? This is what you want to do with <laughs> you. Yeah, I really don't want to do this. Alright. How Archie wants to do this, Lee, when he's older. Oh, fuck's sake, Archie. No, I don't, I don't really. I won't fucking try, mate. Look at Tutty there, look, on his phone, look, Tutty. He's tutting about the place, people. We've worked on the driest day possible. Right, bottom one then, Lee. Come on, the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Flip it, that's it. Oh, vibration white finger. <laughs> Let's go working in the darkness. Let's go working under a lorry in the pitch black. When it's raining. What would you rather do? Hit the gritty or do this? This, definitely. What? I don't even know what hit the gritty is. Look, it's gone, it's gone in. Let's try the lights, Lee, now. Let's just try the lights, Lee. What? That's this side. Oh, fuck me, same problem. I've swapped his lamps around and all kinds of stuff in this rain uh, just to try and diagnose a problem. But this lot, I've, I've just noticed this now, look. Look, that one there has got a pin missing. So I'm hoping if I get a new plug tomorrow, it's going to uh, get the indicator on. At the minute, we've just bypassed it. So we've bodged yeah. it, basically. So that's the plan for tomorrow with oh, that one anyway. Do, yeah. So we'll just have to... We'll just have to make do. With the don't worry, Leo's, I'm back. And I haven't bought food. Look how he got up, that is. He thinks it's food, look, but it's not. I had to buy them terminals, look, for, for our Lee's trailer. Because, oh, we had, a, we had a bit of a faff last night, we uh, Good morning, people. Hope you're well on this fine morning. I'm going to go now to Pete's Tanvik. Tanvik Tire, Tanvik Commercial. I'm going to go there and finish this diff job off so I can put an end to this saga. Uh, because apparently the half shaft's come now. I was waiting for a half shaft for it. That's come now. Uh, what they fitted in, it fitted in all right. They've slotted it in, but I just need to 
well, I don't know really, I just need to go there. I need to change the brakes on on one side and I need to just double check everything and then take it for a test run. This van that's put the oh, shaft in. I don't know, if you didn't see it, you've, you, you need to go back on my channel to, to find that because, and no, I don't put anything in playlists. <laughs> <laughs> I like to put stuff in playlists, don't I? Right. Come on, let's go. Oh, look, we've got a new concrete plinth put in here. Bloody hell, Peter, we're going up, up town now, aren't we? We're a bit upper class now. Concrete put down here, guys. I thought this might have moved by now, but it hasn't. Right, let's see where we are. I forgot where we are, even. Well, I know where we're at Tamwick, right? but I mean, just in general, with, with the job, I mean. Ah, yes. Oh, they've put that in now. Is that what it's been waiting for, this half shaft? Right, I'll get a bit of silicon then, I'll put it round there, won't I? Let's, put, let's, let's get it built up. Well, you might think you're driving me insane But I made the game that you're trying to play, you know I think you really ought to know This ain't my first road to Right, I'm going to move it now one side so I can get to the uh, yon side. Matt said, look, Chris, you've got oil leaking from the diff on the floor. Look. I've just been under there and checked it. It doesn't look like it's coming from the diff. It looks like it's what was spilled before. I'm open. Or it's like jack that's leaking. I'm open. I don't know. Let's just keep on. Oh, my God, look. There's the man himself, look. Look at this. I just found this hell in here, look. And there you are, mate. You ain't got that dog here, have you? He ain't, is he? No, he's not. <laughs> he didn't bring in Monday. Is this flat then? Must be. Yeah, well, no, it might have discounted the battery, might it? Like, Reckon? So. Right, best see whether this drives. See whether it actually goes forwards and backwards without making a clunk clunk noise. Are we right, Al? Who's that? Yeah. Fuck out of the steering wheel, what? Oh, look at this, Al. Look at this. It's like... Yeah, it's, um, you know what does that, don't you? Oh, right? gamma. Yeah, but also, um, during COVID, no... Um, hand sanitizer? Yeah. What does it? It's like... ruined now in the steering wheels because of people putting that much hand sanitizer on their hands and still being wet and grabbing the steering Yeah, wheels. and it like must deteriorate the, the rubber yeah, like that. Must... Yeah, because it does feel around. gammy, look. Yeah. Sticky as hell. Yeah, it's hand sanitizer. Yeah. Right, now I've got space this side, I'm going to change the pads in this side and then we can take it for a little test run. See how she flies! People, it's Roxanne a lot. Roxanne, you're getting massive now, dog. <laughs> Bloody hell. You're a huge piece of equipment now. Put the size of a pause lot. Uh, are, is she stopped growing now or not? Yeah, she's still growing then. Well, that man's going away. I'm going to go on a test run here. That's my pedigree, chums. It's a success. And here we have an electrician. He may be working. If we've caught him at the right time. No. Oh, oh yes, there he is. <laughs> He's working, people. Here it is. The rare sight of an electrician. Electrician at work. <laughs> See, they do work, people. Here's the evidence. Here, in real life. Looks like he's fettling some kind of bodgy, bodgy, pinny, pinny system. <laughs> As you can see, the electrician. Yeah, <laughs> electrician, a not, a, not a body. 
Yeah, no, as you can tell. As you can see, he's an electrician, not a body repair man. <laughs> 73 play. So Nissan and Renault are the same then? Because yeah. that half shaft, what he got, he couldn't get one off Renault, but he got one off Nissan. But they're the same. Everything's intertwined with one another nowadays, isn't it? That's definitely a £10 lot. Right, this is the challenge. You ready, people? This is it. You gotta have your arms stretched out like that and touch your. How do you do it like that? Stretch that. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. Oh, no. No, straight up like that. You gotta put it down to your nose, ain't you? This way it works. Right there, a bit longer. Right, if you can do this, challenge people on, on, on the internet, all you YouTubers. All, I've challenge. seen all these TikTokers and that, like Ashley, they all go to the gym and that, don't they? You know what I mean? They're all big, like, muscly guys. See if you can do this, boy. Ten pound hammer, arms stretched out, and lower it down. Touch your nose. <laughs> Touch. <laughs> Go on, Al. See if you can do it. Go on, Al. <laughs> Go on, Al. You can do it, Al. You can do it, Al. <laughs> Go on, Al. No, you need it lower down, because it's not going to touch your nose, is it? That's it. Sure, I'm not sure. <laughs> Go on, Al. Go on, Al. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're first, actually. Come on, you're about to. You swing these hammers all day, every day, man. Come on. So, Come on. Okay, if I took, if I took the top, probably you don't go it long enough, but you're bending your arm, man. You're bending your arm. You're bending your arm. You ain't going further down, though. That's it, there. Steady, slow, lay. Don't go push. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> now nah, let's see if we can do it with 15 pounder. Yeah, I can do it like that. Come on, we've got 15 pounder, aren't we? Oh, is that 16 pounds, sorry. Yeah, 16 pounder. Can we drop that upside down? Can't even fuck out of the Oh, can't even fuck out of the way. Fuck, no way. No. 10 pounds me live it, I think. No. We'll pull that we'll £16 back, we don't want to wiggle that one. Go on, let's go and do some work, can The van complete. Up and running again. Back on the road. Hello, Leels. I'm coming for you, Leels. Right, change of plan now. Our lease is back at the yard. Uh, so I've got to go back to the yard now to try and sort out this uh, this fault with the indicator. I messed around with it late last night and couldn't figure it out. Mm -hmm. In that, that there I want to change. I'm just gonna change that there look. Fine. Oh have you got it? Yeah because I can see what colour it is there look. Ah. Red, black, green. Okay, Red, God. black, green. Ha ha ha! Oh little this is my first day. Right I've sorted it now. I've just sent Zach a picture of a valve what I want. This this valve's leaking. Uh, through WhatsApp, he's, he's from Partick. He's he's my main parts man because I can send him pictures. You see, because he's in the modern era where you can send pictures, uh, and and I put him a load of ramble afterwards and all lot lot. It's funny lot. I always like to, you know what I mean. I like to spice up the conversation a little. Isn't it? It breaks up the day. There we go. Catch you on the next one, guys. Yeah, you will. Woohoo! See you later, alligator. It's a right, little